Let's get right to it. In the real world, data figure models isn't sourced by downloading nicely clean CSV files from the internet. For most models in the real world, sourcing means understanding where the data is and then often authoring the SQL code necessary to amalgamate all your data. Once your data is in the shape of array, you can then export that to begin the data cleansing process. Let's look at an excerpt from one of my courses on data cleansing so you get an idea of what data sourcing looks like. Sure, this is a highly contrived example, but it's going to give you an idea of what the process looks like. Machine learning is very process oriented. You follow the same core steps every time you're given a project. The first thing you want to do is source your data. The data has to come from somewhere. In the real world, 99% of applied machine learning is supervised learning. That's according to Andrew Ng. Now, the two most common types of problems are classification and regression. What does sourcing data really mean? Well, it doesn't mean going to the internet and downloading this pretty picture with a data set that's already hand labeled. Labeling means someone came in here and made sure all this was filled in. They put the target variable here. They added the target variable for whether the passenger survived or died. This <laughs> isn't what the real world looks like. So what does the real world look like? Well, here's a, a relational database called SQL Server. And this interface we're looking at is called SQL Server Management Studio. So here we have some tables and we have one table. Here's the login table for an application. And we're gonna say the data we need is in this test database. So we do a query on the login table and it has the login. We have JLo, Charlie Sheen, Kem K, uh, their user passwords. That doesn't give us much. There's nothing here to model. Well, that's because the information is housed in more than one table. So you're going to need to create some joins. So here's a join on the login table and the orders table. So when we execute that, now we get a little bit more information, don't we? We get the orders by JLo, by Charlie, and by Kim K. We've got quantity, cost. Now we've got some more information. That's not it. All right. So we're going to have some other information that we need. So let's move over here. And now let's join on another table. And when we join on our third table, personal, we get even more information that we can use to build our model with. Now, this is the most simplistic example I can give you. All the rows you can see are filled in. Now, if we had this data set in the real world, all we would have to do is hand label the target variable, and then we could predict what people are going to buy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day. We'll see you soon.